Now, as it's the first time I've actually ever put this together, this isn't a brand new, I bought it all second hand, and you'll be surprised to know that I managed to pick up the rack, the bike, and all these weights, which I think is equivalent to about 160 kilos of weights, and the barbell for no more than approximately 600 pounds for the whole lot. And it took a bit of searching on eBay, Amazon, and sort of uh, looking around in the internet, um, and driving around the country where I live down in the southeast. I went up north, I went west, um, travel around Leeds, Bristol to pick all this stuff up. There is bargains out there to find. So hopefully we can put this together. Now the main video today is basically showing how I put this rack system together. I've got no instructions. I've tried Googling it. I've tried YouTube. I've gone on there. It's not, there's basically no information out there that I've seen that can help you guys. So we're going to go through it together. Whether I do it right or wrong, I don't know. Hopefully I'll get it all right and I'm going to film exactly what I'm doing at the moment. So hopefully I'll help you guys out if you ever choose to choose this system and obviously um, fit it in your gym. So uh, I'll show you some extra videos now. Okay, as you see, I've all got the uh, stack of weights as well. And what I've started to do is basically load it uh, on these poles up here. And so you've got a pulley system that I've moved out of the way. And all I basically do is been loading it, sliding it down the pole, and making sure that it all fits nicely and stacks up there. I've taken these apart because as far as I'm aware, obviously the cable goes through and over the pulley system. So it can obviously all go together. And what I've also done, which is a bit of a tip, is make sure you stack the weights all in the correct order, especially if they're already stickered. There's nothing worse than actually uh, going around and, uh, and stacking them up and then realize you've put all the wrong bloody stickers on the wrong ones. So uh, yeah, let's go through this and hopefully we can put this all together properly. Okay, so once I've stacked up all the uh, weights and you can see they're all in order, as well, I've then what I've done is made sure I've lined up all the bar, and this is sort of loosely where the pulley system goes and attached to it. <coughs> I'll try and show you as many pictures as I can. So that goes like that. And what I've used to you basically use every single one of these bolts here that you see is a simple pair of pliers, and this is a fantastic piece of kit. This universal wrench. So what happens is when you see this every um, bolt or nut that you want to tighten you just go in there push in and that locks in so I definitely highly recommend this as a tool to use because uh, it's just so easy it makes it so much easier and I've done the whole rack with it as well so I'll try and film uh, what I'm doing now so basically I've got this pulley system and what I'm thinking obviously I know that this bit would go up here as you can see I've taken the, the pulley wheels out of there and at the back as well. So I'm gonna put up there, feed it through there, feed it down the back, go down there, and obviously it attaches to that weight. So when it comes up, it's, it's obviously gonna pick up all the other weights as it does there. So I'm gonna feed it through there and I've got an idea of how this goes. So fingers crossed I'll get this all right. Right, hope you guys can see this. I'm gonna try and feed it through, feed it up, run it along the pulley and then join it to where I think it's going to go. So, um...
So as you can see, I fed it all the way up through the top. It's gone over the back and I've installed it into this two-way pulley system. So what happens is when you feed the, the line through, you tuck it in there, you take this off. And as you feed the wire through, you put it back on, hook it over the top, which then attaches to this pulley here. And that goes all the way down to the bottom of the weight. And then as this goes in, all you do is, this is your tensioner. So you just tighten this up to the tension that you want to pull. And you get an idea of what's happening with putting that together. So that's the first stage of that wire. Then obviously you've got to connect down the bottom for the pulley. So obviously, because what happens is when you currently pull this, that rises up and you obviously don't want that to happen because it's not going to run smoothly. So the easiest way I find by doing it by attaching this pulley is simply, once you've got the cable attached like that, that you push the pulley into the groove of the cable, that slots up there. You can see that, and then you slot the bolt right through the side there. Okay, I think I've finally done it. So this is the actual complete system now. So what I did was I fed the second cable through the bottom. So you take this pulley out here, under these bolts, feed the cable through, runs up here, and where you've got this, as I said, the double pulley, you take that one off, feed it through, run it all the way back down again, and to attach it to the chain. And then when you've got the tension from the lat, as you're pulling it down, as you can see from pulling this, cracked it. Well, well chuffed, no instructions, but I fit it myself. And then here, obviously, when you want to turn it over, you want to do a pull. Now, ideally, I've just strapped this, uh, strapped this to the chain. Now, ideally, obviously, it's all the same weight. cracked it and then all you do is just pick the weights that you want to choose as you're going through okay i hope you enjoyed the video um basically it's just explain i'm just explaining how i went through myself and my process of actually fitting the uh sort of lap pull down and pulley uh stacker weight system uh for my rack um, as I said, this rack is the CF475 body max rack. Um, it's second hand. It's a couple of years old, but I believe they're still made approximately the same. Um, so I hope it helps you guys out. Just let me know if you like the video. Um, if you want me to obviously discuss about all my gym that I'm building up itself. So I'm building it from home, um, especially around all this rubbish that's going on at the moment um, in terms of what's epidemically around. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you've got any questions, Chuck them down in, send me a message, I'll be happy to respond to them. All right, guys, stay strong. I'll speak to you soon. Take care.